These guys get our hearts pounding. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 teen heartthrobs of the 2010s. Roses are red, violets are blue, but it is true I'll be too if I don't have you. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at singers and actors we obsessed over in the 2010s. These hunks don't necessarily have to be teens themselves, as long as teenagers are their primary fan base. We're looking at them fondly here. I know I can treat you better than he can. Number 10, Ross Lynch. Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah. We have to perform like our lives depend on it, because our lives depend on it. Singer, actor, and dancer, this guy has it all. Best known for his lead role in the Disney series Austin and Ally, Ross capitalized on his breakout success by starring in Disney Channel's Teen Beach Movie, a musical that transported both its characters and viewers into the world of Wet Side Story. In addition to songs like Heard It on the Radio and On My Own, Lynch also puts out catchy tunes with R5. I broke up with my girl, so tell me where to meet. He's going outside of Disney for parts nowadays, and it's exciting to see him take on more adult roles. It's definitely going to be interesting seeing him as young Jeffrey Dahmer in the upcoming My Friend Dahmer. Number 9. Dylan O'Brien We're not really afraid of your little fireflies. As Styles Stalinsky in Teen Wolf, Dylan's able to show off his sense of humor, affable nature, and his charm. While working on the show, he began to dabble in film roles like the romantic lead in The First Time, showing off his range. Sex is so much better before you've had it. But it's his casting as Thomas in the Maze Runner franchise that shows Dylan's ability to be one of Hollywood's up-and-coming leading men. Even though he was badly injured in March 2016 when filming the last Maze Runner movie, nothing can slow him down, and he went back to work for the last season of Teen Wolf. That's something you want to feel again. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Number 8. Ansel Elgort You serious? I'm just trying to fix what I did. If you don't know who this guy is, get ready to swoon. Still relatively new to acting, Ansel debuted on the big screen in the 2013 remake of Carrie. He's already captured the attention of every teenage girl in the world, with his turn as Augustus in the adaptation of the John Green novel The Fault in Our Stars. Hazel Grace, I, I hope you realize you trying to keep your distance from me in no way lessens my affection for you. Charming and witty, Ansel brought his quirky character to life in the best possible way. Since then, he's had loyal fans who've watched him in the Divergent franchise. In addition to acting, he's also been making strides as a DJ under the name Ansolo. We'll support him. Okay, we've been through I was Our, 13. Hush! I am in the midst of a grand soliloquy here. Number 7. Nicholas Holt Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! He started off as a child actor in About a Boy, but we're ready to see him as a leading man. Nick may have been an awkward kid, but it was his starring role as Tony in the UK teen series Skins that made us see just how genetically blessed he's become. Okay, quick, get her inside. Yeah, but what do we tell them? I don't know, improvise. As Tony, Nick played something of a self-centered jerk, but it worked and relaunched his career. Since then, he's appeared in high-profile films like A Single Man and Mad Max Fury Road, and played a young Hank McCoy slash Beast in the X-Men franchise. He is constantly taking risks with his roles, a quality that makes him more than a flash in the pan. So if the past doesn't matter and the present's a total drag, what about the future? What future? Cuba might just blow us up. Number 6. Taylor Lautner Stranger things happen every day. Best known for acting in the Twilight series as werewolf Jacob Black, Lautner inspired millions of girls to run out to the stores to buy Team Jacob t-shirts and life-size posters. In any case, whether you were Team Jacob or Team Edward, it was impossible to resist drooling over Lautner's impressive physique. Ranked number 4 on People Magazine's Most Amazing Body list in 2010, he went on to become the most well-paid teen actor later that year. After a few small projects, 2016 saw Lautner be cast as Dr. Cassidy Cascade in the hit TV series Scream Queens, proving that he has more than one trick up his sleeve. Yeah, exactly. Number 5. Nick Jonas you It's not easy to shed a boy band past, but Nick has done it with ease. 
He started off as a kid in the Jonas Brothers band with older bros Joe and Kevin. After their official breakup, he quickly became one of the hottest names in music with singles like Chains and Jealous. His shift into solo work also allowed him to show off a more grown-up and sexy sound. But he's also crushing it as an actor with his roles on Scream Queens and Kingdom. We can also thank Kingdom for Nick's new buff bod, something we're still not used to. He's come into his own, and we're here for it. Everything you think you know about ghosts is a lie, Chad. Ghosts walk among you every day, you would never know. Number 4. Liam Hemsworth Went out with those girls because I was trying to feel something again. Of all the guys on our list, Liam is the one whose career we can't wait to see blossom. As the youngest Hemsworth, he's had big shoes to fill, but he doesn't seem to be intimidated by the success of his brothers. In fact, Liam has begun to carve a place for himself in franchises like The Hunger Games. We could do it, you know. Take off, live in the woods, it's what we do anyway. Sure, he had to play second fiddle to the adorable Josh Hutcherson's PETA, but he's got a strong Team Gale following. We've seen him play the romantic lead in the last song, and the leading male in Independence Day Resurgence. With his chiseled good looks, we expect to see a lot more from him. They should fit you. Thank you, ma'am. Number 3. Tyler Posey You feel bad for me, like you want to believe me, but I know you don't. Like his Teen Wolf co-star Dylan O'Brien, Tyler is one of our favorite guys on the small screen. As Scott McCall, the main character and leader of the show's wolf pack, Tyler has shown that he's still got the charm and charisma he had as a kid in 2002's Made in Manhattan. And then what's left is, um, your speech. But since then, he's grown up into a pretty confident and sexy guy we're excited to watch week after week. It'll be fun to see what other roles Tyler is going to go after, since he's dabbled in film with small parts in movies like Scary Movie 5. Perhaps he'll be the next Zac Efron. <laughs> Number 2. Harry Styles is frozen. As one of the One Direction dreamboats, Harry Styles has been the name on everyone's lips since the group formed on The X Factor back in 2010. Harry often does lead vocals for the group's singles like The Story of My Life, and his good looks, hair, and devil-may-care attitude have been showcased into the spotlight. His high-profile relationships with other A-listers keep him in the tabloids and branded him as a playboy. We can't really blame anyone for falling for Harry, though. His charismatic personality makes him someone people are drawn to. No, genuinely. Why are you laughing, then? <laughs> because it's... You could cut the tension in here. <laughs> with 1D's hiatus, Harry's putting that charisma to good use by trying out a career in acting, making his debut in Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. And yeah, I would love to play football, but I, I couldn't then, so I shouldn't now. Sure, because you're different. Exactly. Number one, Justin Bieber. Baby, take a chance so you'll never ever know. I got money in my hands that I really like to bless. Justin's had a lot of up and downs, but it's not too late now to say sorry. His covers first gained him a mass YouTube following, and he was quickly discovered releasing My World when he was only 15. Starting with One Time, Bieber dominated airwaves again with Baby. Justin's killed it with hits like Boyfriend and What Do You Mean over the years, showing off his matured voice. And he's even gained new fans through his collaborations with other artists. He's one of the most successful artists of his generation and holds numerous records, such as being the first artist to exceed 10 billion views on Vivo. Baby, 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 oh. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.